Good morning, Grace friends. It's Miss Tracy again this week. Um, it's good to see you today. Last week in our lesson, we discovered that we are known by God. He knows everything about us, our thoughts, feelings, fears, and joys. And because he knows it all, we can talk to him about anything without being afraid or embarrassed. I hope you remembered that this week um, in your prayers with um, at night and that you could talk to God about everything. In today's lesson, we're going to find out that we are followers of Jesus. That means that we love Jesus and learn from him about how to live our lives. Um, we want him to guide us. And our story today is about some of the first people who followed Jesus. And the story today is from Luke chapter 5, and that's in the New Testament. And in this story, um, this was held back when Jesus first started to heal people, and he was teaching people, and crowds followed him everywhere. They were very intrigued by his teaching. And in fact, he had so many people following him that they pushed him to the edge of a lake. And while he was um, trying to teach them, they crowded all around him, and he looked over to the nearby lake, and he saw some boats parked on the shore. There were boats of fishermen who had come in from um, fishing that morning, and he told uh, one of the boat owners named Simon, take me out into the water. So Simon pushed the boat out into the water a little bit so Jesus could have a little bit of space and could still teach the people but not be in right in the middle of the crowd. So Jesus taught the people from the boat um, and once he was done teaching he told Simon to take the boat back out into the water so they could cast their nets and fish. And Simon being a fisherman and had just gotten back from fishing all night long and hadn't caught anything, he told Jesus, I didn't catch anything all night, but we will go because you said to, Jesus. Simon didn't think they'd catch anything because he'd just come in from this fishing trip. Um, but with Jesus in the boat, the net became so full. The net was so full and heavy that it began to rip, and they caught so many fish that the boat began to sink. They had to have other fishermen come in and help um, them carry all the fish back to shore that they had caught. And so on their own, the fishermen caught nothing, but with Jesus, they caught more than they could carry. The fishermen were so, so surprised, and Simon was amazed, and he fell to his ground, fell to the ground and worship. He could tell that Jesus was very special, and he didn't think that he was deserving of being with him, and so did all the other fishermen who witnessed um, this great catch of fish. And when they made it back to the shore, they brought the boats in, and they left everything behind, and they followed Jesus. Um, which is a little bit surprising in that fishermen, that's how they made their money. So they caught this big, huge pile of fish and they could go sell it in the market and support their family. But they realized that there was something more valuable than the fish on the boat. And that was the man that made the miracle happen. And so they left everything behind and they followed Jesus. They went with him. And Jesus didn't make them rich with money. They didn't just continue to go fishing and, and sell their fish and and uh, buy their things and, uh, you know, build this great, big, rich life, but he gave them a meaningful life. And so we see that fishermen made that choice to follow Jesus and become disciples. But what does it mean for us to become a follower of Jesus? So if you're in a game of, say, Simon Says, and you have a leader and you're going to follow the leader, you're going to do what they say to do and what you see them doing, right? So you're going to touch your nose, you're going to hop on one foot, you're only going to do it if the instructions they give you match with what you see and what you know. And the fishermen could do that type of thing with Jesus because they could see him. They could walk behind him. They could follow him where he was going. They could listen to his instructions. They could do what he um, was teaching them to do. But we can't see Jesus. So how should we follow him? Um, to follow, to be a follower of Jesus for us means that we need to seek time out with him above everything else. So you want a friendship with him, not just help with fishing or with things that you, you know, just go to him, go to Jesus for things that you want, but you want to build that relationship. So the first step in following Jesus is deciding to be a follower of Jesus. So if you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and declare your faith to say that you're a follower of Jesus, that's all that needs to be done. And that is so exciting. I'm pretty sure that by watching this video right now that you and your family have made these choices and that you would like to be a follower of Jesus. So how does that mean or what does that mean? How does that help you 
um, follow Jesus in the choices that you make in, a, in an everyday life. Well, even though we can't see him, we can read in the Bible about how Jesus lived, about the stories and the teachings that he provided for us, um, and what everybody learned from Jesus and has passed down through their stories and their writings to us. So by studying and spending time in prayer, um, by doing those things that we know are the same qualities that Jesus had, we can love our neighbors, we can be good friends to our classmates, we can um, help the needy in our community, we can serve other people, and we can just be kind, right? We can be that person that you would think, what would Jesus be like if he were sitting next to me? What would he tell me to do? That's the right thing to do. And the more that we read about Jesus in our Bible and the more that we talk with each other in our Sunday school classes and the more we're around other um, Jesus followers, the more we will be like him, the more we will uh, follow his teachings. So let me close us in prayer. Jesus, thank you for inviting us to follow you. We want to be your followers. Please guide us through the Bible and through our prayers so that we can follow your teachings. In your name I pray. Amen. All right. Bye, guys. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday.